Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the legendary Starfy. Or should I say the legendary Starly. Either way, uh, we're going to continue on with our uh, post-game adventure. Uh, but before we do, um, I did go ahead and take the liberty of doing some pearl grinding off camera. And uh, basically, I have up to the max number of pearls now. So we can afford the galactic heroes outfit so since it's the last thing we can actually buy let's uh go ahead and purchase it let's go ahead and get this and be done with this and sure enough after we've bought everything from the shop it says i'm all cleaned out the shelves are bare guess i gotta go yep okay so we have everything now so before we get started let's go ahead and look at the uh new outfit that we have so we have the uh, Galactic Heroes outfit, and um, is it the mobile phone or? Yeah, I guess it's the mobile phone. A special has been added. Here's how uh, Starly looks in this outfit. Let's go to Hero of the Galaxy. This is what Starly looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> a hammer and a uh, spiked mace. Holy crap. <laughs> Man. Uh, Starfy and uh, Starly are not messing around here. Wow, even like Starly has like a different like main weapon too. She has a hammer instead of a sword, I guess. Oh, that's pretty wild. Okay, so we got that now. Um, so now if we want to use pearls for anything, it's going to be just for the toys, I guess. And I might do some grinding for that. Uh, basically, the place I used to grind was that little uh, cannon section at the end of 8-4, uh, right before the boss. If you literally go to the midpoint, you just like leave the room, uh, go to the bottom left door, and like you'll literally be in that room. And you can grind pearls there very easily. I got up to... 9999 nine, 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 and literally like less than like 20 minutes so it's a very very fast way to get pearls if you're looking for that i'll probably show that off later just to give you guys an idea but uh, for now we're going to go ahead and move on with more of the post game so we're going to go to bonus level three papes so i guess uh, we're going to be uh, facing off against papes here or at least we'll uh maybe get some backstory on them too i guess we'll just have to wait and see um, but yeah, let's go ahead and continue on. It's hard to believe that we're back to, like, uh, single-digit pearls again. It's been so long since that was the case, but... Oh, hey, we've officially gotten everything now. Wow, Papes actually just made some, like, statues of his, uh... <laughs> of his image in this castle. That's interesting. I guess we get some pearls for that, though, at the very least. So we can break those to get some get some coinage, I guess. Okay, I just want to make sure there was nothing over there. Oh wow, we actually already have the boss room. <laughs> Man, these could be some like very quick stages if that's the case. Uh what the hell? Conk conk! You finally conk came! You certainly took your conk time. Conk? Oh, I should have known. What are you doing here? Meet Conk. He likes to think of himself as a ri some rival to Starfy. Oh, there's someone else talking here. But he's really harmless, so he's more entertaining than anything else. He doesn't have anything to do with Mash 2 for those others. And he's got a real crush on Ruby. So he and Moe don't get along too well. No more conk narration. My shell attack is going to smash conk you into stardust. Aw, isn't that cute? He thinks he can beat me. Bring it on, conk. Okay, so we actually have to fight conk, I guess. I think all we got to do is just hit him from the head. Now he's actually doing something a little bit differently. Still not too hard, though. I 
Okay, so that was pretty easy. But now we have more of the level. The level doesn't end yet. I didn't expect it to though, so... Let's go over here, climb up. I admit, I do really miss the double jump that Starfy had. Double jump just made a lot of things very convenient. At least we still have the glide, at least. I mean, that's still something. Oh, wow, that, <laughs> that bubble actually got stuck. Interesting. And it is still stuck. Looks like Starly can't um, also swim through the currents fast either. So yeah, she's a little disadvantaged, but not too much. She gets the glide, but doesn't have any of the other, like, convenience abilities that Starfy had. And yeah, as far as from what I uh, actually learned when looking up some things in regards to this game, yeah, you actually can't go back to older levels and play them with Starly, which I guess makes sense, because if you could, um, you know, there might be some levels that you can't, like, actually progress in, because you need those advanced abilities. But with Starly, you only have the ones that, like, you know, give her help. So I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't be able to go to those levels still, but... Uh, you know, if you do have uh, a wireless uh, local connection in some regard, that is still something you can do, I guess. Hey, stop right there. Quit following me. You're like some kind of pink nightmare. But I don't care if I don't have any backup. I'll give you a good fight. Huzzah! Yeah. Fair fight. I mean, I just kicked all their asses. <laughs> Some fair fight that was. Okay. Well, before I go there, let me just go over here really quick so we can destroy this statue. Uh, I don't think I can climb up there. And yeah, let's go ahead and go inside the boss door. They are actually giving us a save point in that purple mist that we saw in the main part of the playthrough. And yeah, it's pretty much the same fight that we had earlier against uh, Papes, so... Gotta do a little bit of the, that Beyblade action. Yeah, I don't think you can actually spin on him. Oh, you can. It's not super helpful, though, so probably not recommended. One more hit should do it. Go up here. Perfect. Oh, really? That was cheating. It actually wasn't. But... You know how it is. When, when you feel screwed over, like, you naturally say it's cheating. Oh, <laughs> he actually killed himself there. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We beat Papes. Gonna get the victory dance that Starfy normally does, but, uh... We don't get any ship parts this time, so we're just going to beat the level and move on, pretty much. Bye. So let's go to the next level. Bronk! I wonder who we're going to be facing off in this level. But uh, we'll probably have some other surprises, too. I mean, we had that other boss fight, so... Oh, wow, and we actually have this mechanic, too. Kind of interesting that uh, Puff Top actually has all these different... Uh, features of uh, the levels we actually went through in the main game. Let's 
see if anything's over here. Doesn't seem like it. Let's go ahead and raise the water level. Probably didn't need to do that, but... Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, we have a... Uh, the water level mechanic. Come on, is there anything up here? Nope. Okay. Well, let's keep on climbing then. Uh, actually, let, yeah, let's definitely keep on climbing. Talk to you. Oh, Starly, are you okay? Oh yeah, sure. I'm totally fine doing all the work while my brother is probably napping. Starly, I have a message for you when you have a minute. Oh, you want to hear the story? Wonderful. Here we go. Puff Top Legend 3. Okay, so there wasn't one in the last level, but there is one here. Long ago in Puff Top, there was a baddie who was even tougher than the regular baddies. Hmm, a baddie sounds too cute to be all that bad. Anyway, so in the kingdom, a careless prince and his little sis saved the castle from the baddie. Hmm, this all sounds very familiar somehow. Ha 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 ha. Well, they say deja vu is when the mind plays tricks on you. Playing tricks, I say. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get back to defending Puff Top, okay? Okay. So yeah, I think this is just like kind of uh, just very brief retellings of the previous Starfy games. Just to give maybe like a little bit of context to uh, American players who, as we already established, you know, they didn't get to play the old Starfy games. So kind of like a little bit of flavor text, I guess you could say. Again, they should definitely consider, like, giving us a way to play those games, though. I mean, it's not like it, they're hard. Like, I can't imagine them being hard games by any means. Like, let's be real. Just looking at this game, it shouldn't be hard. But still, you know, it's always good to have context. And also to experience, like, a, a series for the first time in, like, a different region. I mean, I, th I keep thinking about Fire Emblem, for example. Like, I didn't know anything about Fire Emblem until most people in America get did through uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee when Marth and Roy were added. And then when the first Fire Emblem came out to uh, U.S. shores, like, uh, well, not the first game, but the seventh game, technically. You know, that was an immediate buy for me because I played as Roy. Roy was one of my mains, and I was just curious about the series, and... Lo and behold, that game became, like, my favorite, one of my all-time favorite games, so... You know, it's, it's always good to get, like, more context for a series that you've been, like, familiar with but never got a chance to actually play, so... I, I, de I definitely, um, I definitely would like to encourage Nintendo to just, you know, kind of give us, like, a way to experience those games, because you never know, they might end up being, like, an instant classic favorite for some people. Ooh. Lots of goodies in this level. So far, this is definitely the best uh, pearl grinding place for uh, the Starly levels. Not by much, though, because, again, we only have 200. But still, like, I mean, those capsules were only five pearls. So that's like 20 pearls, per, or 20 capsules per 100 pearls. So you can really clean up. Probably won't be able to get all of them, but... We'll get quite a number of them at the very least. Yeah, what is with this, like, weird, like, water current gimmick whenever you raise and lower the water level? It's, I don't know, it just seems very unnecessary and extra for whatever reason. Ooh, I kind of wanted to get the... Well, we'll have a water switch here, so... Okay, go all the way up here. Oh, close. I won't worry about that pearl, it's just one. Now we'll probably need to, uh, yep. One more time should do it. We gotta swim to win. That's what we gotta do. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What the hell are you doing? I don't know, but I don't like it. reason to do this? 
Not particularly. Okay, let's just leave. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's how you do that. Good times, good times. Okay, water current. Trying to see if there's anything else I can grab while I go through here. Didn't seem like it, so we're going to kill you. Okay, we got some walls we can break through over there. Boom. Boom. kind of cool that you can like jump off of the waterfall to gain height. <laughs> that like that like feels like some like speed run like related strats almost. Oh, thank you. Yeah, if we're lucky enough, we could probably get like all the uh, capsules in this playthrough too, just with the pearls we're getting from here. Probably not, though. I'm sure you can probably get duplicates. It's probably the same thing, like Smash Bros. trophies, for example. Hey! You again. Conk, conk! It's conk time again! Get ready for some serious conk! Is this really necessary? I get it. You can just barely see where he is. He's just appearing in the same two spots again. I don't think he ever appeared in the top left one. <laughs> okay, well we conked it to him. And at least I know what character we're going to be using for the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> That's one good thing, I guess. Okay. Wait. Am I supposed to climb up? Uh... Do I have to fight him again? So there's another path we can go that I just wasn't aware of? Oh, you know what? Yeah, there was. Because I... Yeah. Okay, so there was just... That conk battle was like a... I guess just a freebie minigame, I guess. Interesting. Hey, you again. I don't have any beef with you. Quit bugging me, squatcher boys. Okay, so now we're gonna fight Ronk, probably. <laughs> Ronk! <laughs> Ronk and Conk, I wonder if there's any relation. <laughs> Maybe there's a hidden friendship there. Maybe they can develop that friendship, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I did get confirmation in regards to this. Um, in regards to this fight, if you go down here and hit the water switch, this does actually significantly slow Ronk down. And... Oh. So honestly, the fight probably becomes even easier, but, like, you don't need to do this. Like, he's still pretty easy without doing this, too. But that's essentially what you're supposed to do. Like, that's what the... That's what the other wrong fight was kind of trying to encourage you to do, to kind of use the water to slow him down, but... You know, you don't even need to do that. Okay, well, I'm going to do one more level, since we did have a little bit of, uh, kind of, uh, time waste at the very beginning. Since I think we have one more level after this, or actually it seems like we have two, but, um... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do the Snips level, and then, um, we'll probably finish up this world next video. 
So next up we have Snips. Snips, Snips, Snips. And we have more water levels we have to raise. Game is really doubling down on this gimmick. <laughs> okay, I actually missed that. Hold on. I'm sure I can get up there. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. If I don't hit the wall. Oh, come on. Is there another water switch here? There is. Okay, that's probably what I'm supposed to do. Is this one make it up here? Sorry, Snip statue. I don't know. I don't see why all those extra bombs are necessary for her statue, though. <laughs> it's like you could have saved so many resources by not using that many like stones. Oh, villains! They never, they never think about resources. Oh, maybe they do. I don't know. Depends on the villain, I guess. Starly, my lady, those villains set the puff top on fire. All the soldiers are doing their best to try and put it out. No, not fire. Boing. Okay. There we go. Knock you out. Okay, that's good. Can I maybe... I don't know how I was getting that there. Okay, so you can touch the fire a little bit. It doesn't cause contact damage, thankfully. Seriously, though, pretty intense to just set the place on fire. A place that's like, you know filled with water creatures, so there's plenty of water here by any means. Or by every means. I love how they're like using like this waterfall jump mechanic as like an actual like gimmick to get through these levels. secret story or a... Well, hold on before I do that. Okay, no, it says the arrow goes this way, so... <clears throat> if there's something secret, it's probably gonna be here. Another story. Starly, what are you doing here? It's too dangerous for you. Oh, stop treating me like a child. Where do those bad guys go? I'm gonna really let them have it. I bet you wouldn't have any problem dealing with them. How'd you get to be so strong? Maybe I can tell you my secret sometime when I'm not so busy. Excuse me while I go save Pup Top. Okay, let's see if this is the... <clears throat> so what is Starly's secret anyway? Legends of Puff Top 4, Starly Edition. 
So, uh, this legend happened not too all that long ago. A young girl came to visit Puff Top, and she was like, Ah, my home is being attacked. Please help. And so the young girl and her brother decided to help save Puff Top. Is that correct? Yeah, I totally learned all kinds of really important stuff on that good journey. It was super cool. Wow, so this must have been a quite the harrowing adventure for this young girl. Um, yeah, harrowing, but in a fun way for her. The girl, I mean. Lady Starly, what's the matter? Are you embarrassed? Your face is turning red. My face is always red, or pink at least. <laughs> Out of my way, Puff Top must be saved again. <laughs> Starly's, Starly's a really cute character. Like, I'm, I'm glad that they kind of made her, like, kind of part of the series, and, like, she's also kind of... Because she actually does have dialogue, unlike Starfy, so, like... Yeah, it's kind of cool that she has, like, a little bit of an attitude kind of going with her personality and everything. Also, fire bad. Must run from fire. Oh, no! Damn it. Okay, well, that was my fault. Okay. Yeah, we're at the boss, pretty much. If you've made it this far, that means you beat Papes and Ronk. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. We could use someone with your skills. What do you say? Being a bad guy is more fun. I'll never join you. Why don't you get out of Pup Top so I don't have to wipe up the floor with you? Wipe up the floor? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, boys, let's do it. Okay, so just these guys again. Literally just like the same fight from the first level, just... If anything, there's actually less of them, so... Not very hard at all. Let's take out these statues. And let's go in here and fight the boss. And then after that, we'll end the video. Once again, we have the fight against, uh, Snips. Yeah. Okay. He's totally Ganondorfing right now. <laughs> I will say, it is kind of hard to face off against her just because uh, we don't have like the uh, same fast spin that Starfy does. But still, we're making it work. Although I am taking quite a bit of damage. I should get her. Yep. Okay, there we go, guys. So this has been Slim Kirby. This has been the legendary Starfy. I will see you guys next time when we uh, basically finish up the rest of this world. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will... Uh, See you guys later.